The redistribution of blood around our body ensures that the right muscles receive adequate amounts of oxygen and CO2 removal at the right time to avoid fatigue and ensure continued participation in a sporting activity. And the way that we actually achieve effective blood redistribution is actually an involuntary process. The vasomotor control center, which is located in a person's medulla oblongata, receives signals just like the respiratory control center and the cardiac control center. It receives signals from the chemoreceptors located in and around the blood vessels, which detect changes in acidity levels or gas levels or gas concentrations or partial pressures within the blood vessels themselves because as we start to exercise there's going to be an increase in CO2 rate or CO2 levels there's going to be an increase in lactic acid and a decrease in oxygen levels as more because of the oxyhemoglobin disassociation shift more oxygen is going to be left at working muscle sites and more CO2 and lactic acid is now going to be present. So the vasomotor control center actually causes this redistribution process to begin. And like I said, it's totally involuntary. We can't choose to do it. It's just a biological process that our body has adapted over time. And some things that it does include vascular shunting, which involves the contraction of precapillary uh, pre sphincters. These sort of rings of rigid tissue that when activated, they actually begin to contract in size and stop or reduce blood flow to certain parts of the body. For example, our gut. So if we've just eaten a meal, that's why we actually get a stitch because we're reducing the blood flow to our gut and we're still trying to digest that food. So these precapillary sphincters, they begin to tighten. As a result, we get less blood flow to certain parts or less important areas of our body which aren't requiring oxygen supply at that time. Another thing which starts to happen is, well, again, to do with this vascular shunting, we have vasodilation and vasoconstriction. We have lines of thin or smooth muscle within our blood vessels where, when activated by the sympathetic system controlled by the vasomotor control center, once these are activated, they actually begin to contract in size for vasoconstriction, again, reducing the amount of blood flow possible through those certain vessels. And we also have this relaxation or this vasodilation of that elastic muscle surrounding these blood vessels. The net result, if we vasodilate in certain areas, more blood flow is going to be achieved there. If we vasoconstrict in other areas, less blood flow is going to be achieved there.